Hello guys, this is the Beard Biker and welcome to my YouTube channel and we are back again. So our video today is all about the E13 TRS Plus cassette. Uh, this is a very unique cassette so I will um, show you how to install and remove this cassette on your hub. So before that, let's go with the intro. Five, four, three, two, one go okay so first i will show you how to remove this one so this is the tools we needed uh, chain whip uh, cassette lock ring tool uh, 3mm uh, hex key allen and um, spanner so this is the specifications of the e13 cassette as you can see there it's very lightweight it's 395 grams for the 946 uh, uh, cassette type so uh, there's a unique lock here on the cassette as you can see I'm removing the uh, bolt or the screw on the cassette so that we can loosen the uh, or we can remove this uh, cassette so here I'm using here the uh, uh, 3mm hex to remove this one as you can see that one okay so there's an indication here uh, if it is locked or not so uh, this uh, screw will uh, hold the cassette to uh, in a lock position so I'm putting right now the chain whip and then the uh, uh, cassette remover tool so if you're going to do this it will not gonna work because uh, this uh, portion that I'm putting the chain with is a uh, one whole piece so you cannot do that one here so all you need to do if you're using a chain whip and the uh, cassette lock ring tool you need to put that one on the biggest cog or the largest cut let's say so when you put it there then you can do the counterclockwise using the cassette uh, ring removal tool like that as you can see it's was snapped like that so the arrow right now where uh, the bolt was removed or the screw is on a uh, locked unlocked uh, position as you can see there there's a logo here for the unlocked and then you can uh, pull the whole cassette because it's a one piece cassette so you can remove that one and uh, as you can see it's a one piece so that's why uh, you need to put the chain whip on the biggest uh, cog to remove this one and the next thing here there's another screw here that you need to remove you need to loosen this one so that you can remove that one the biggest uh, cog okay so uh, let's wait okay okay so I'm using again here the 3 mm hex key or Allen to remove this one Alright, I'm so sorry guys, I don't have the uh, uh, longer uh, 3mm um, hex, that's why I'm using only the multi tool here that I have, so that's why it's a bit uh, it, uh, taking time to remove it, but anyways, you just need to pull that one up to remove it on the uh, XD rehab. Actually, if you see this one, there's a spacer. You can remove that one separately. You can just use a cloth and remove, uh, pull that one first before you pull this one. After you unscrew the bolt there. So this is the aluminum type of cog, and the rest and the one piece is the steel one. Okay. So uh, after I remove, I just uh, you know want to clean this one, so I just use a tissue to remove the old grease for uh, 
from the cassette so just wipe it with the tissue it's okay or you can uh, use a used cloth as well to remove the old grease before uh, we're going to install this one so first you just need to put the biggest uh, cog here which is the aluminum one so just a couple of uh, wipes here and um, yeah just to remove the dirt you know, and this one so make sure um, the position of these uh, cogs is aligned to the teeth of the free hub and you need to put some light grease here as well uh, so that it will not gonna stuck in your free hub so it's better to put some grease before you install it. anything like in your hub like this one so but uh, make sure that the position is um, uh, you know in line or uh, uh, seated properly and as you can see here it will not gonna move so you were gonna hear some snap or snug when you put that one so after that then you can tight the uh, uh, screw with the using with the 3 mm uh, hex and don't uh, make it too much tight just like uh, 3 newton meters as, um, it's okay uh, as long as it will uh, hold the uh, uh, free hub so that the cassette will not uh, move so after this that's uh, the what we can do right now here after this is to put the spacer as you can uh, remember there's a small spacer that uh, need to put as well in between of the biggest cog and then the rest of the cassette so you just need to clean it using a tissue and put some light grease as well so that uh, it will not gonna stuck in your prehub okay so a little amount of uh, light grease is okay and you put this one here this is a bushing that uh, we're gonna compress the biggest plug while uh, we're putting the the rest of the cassette okay so before you put that one you need to uh, put some grease uh, actually on the edge of this uh, biggest uh, cogs because as you can see these circles there's the one uh, yeah, that's uh, the circles or that part is uh, should be uh, snap in between of this uh, it's like a blade actually so it's better to be an uh, it's better to be grease uh, to put grease in this area and it's uh, actually advisable if you uh, see a manual if you buy this um, cassette brand new there's a grease as well included and they advise to put a grease on this one because this will gonna help as well the uh, rest of the cassette to lock and to slide or to snap to snap in this blade or in this uh, uh, mechanism as you can see here yeah, the one that I wipe here that's the one that should be snap or snug in that biggest uh, cogs so I'm just uh, do some cleaning here and to make it clean so that there will be no dust sand or dirt um, in this cassette it's really light guys this cassette is very light and it's um, different from other cassettes that we have because this is one piece as you can see it's very one piece so you just look for the marker here with the logo with the lock logo so that uh, it should be in line there because you will put you will be uh, we're going to put the screw there after you snap it okay as you can see here this is in a unlock uh, logo direction right now so uh, what I will be doing I will I'm going to put this one in the locked logo uh, direction so I will be uh, using as well the uh, chain ring uh, chain uh, ring cassette removal tool and uh, with the help of the spanner okay as you can see 
it was moved and then right now it's in the lock position so it's time to put the bolt here so using the 3 mm hex we're going to put the bolt here uh, actually it's like uh, one or two t uh, one or two newton meter um, don't, don't make it too much tight because uh, it's hard to remove sometimes just uh, you know just to lock this one so that uh, for security and safety it will not gonna separate so it's okay all right and that's it so that's how uh, we can uh, how that's uh, the the difference of this uh, unique cassette to all other cassette like Shimano or SRAM so it's a different one so right now it's good and it's ready to roll so thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video and um, you learned new things for this video please don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell like and share the video so that others will know about this thank you very much right safe recording.